hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing really really well so today's video is a little bit different i'm doing a quick voiceover to let you guys know what's happening um as you guys know my niece is getting married hazera is getting married um and we've decided to do her nikah a couple of days before the wedding so we're at a restaurant in where you know where i live up north and this is a closed down restaurant about the property is still owned by my uh, in-laws it's a family owned property the kitchen is still live you know all of that anyways we've decided to do the cooking for the nikah and host the nikah at this restaurant there's my father-in-law peeling onions here's the kitchen um so anyways by the way my voice is like you know really croaky because i'm feeling so unwell i've fallen really really ill the kids are really ill and yeah i just hope i recover before the wedding which is on wednesday but anyways um yeah so we came into the restaurant about nine o'clock and um we did cooking and we left at one i got home at one one a.m 10 11 12 1 so four hours of cooking guys oh my gosh um yeah anyways so we start off with the onions i mean i peeled so many onions but thank god my father in law helped so i was basically like the kitchen porter slash second chef i would say haha <laughs> joking anyways my um the bride's mom which is my sister-in-law she did all the main cooking and by the way the food was amazing it was really really good we decided to cook chicken curry a meat curry um some white rice and some pilau plain pilau rice with a dial as well so we kept it quite simple because you know the wedding's like around the corner and that's when we're gonna get all the yummy food anyways so from the in-laws side um there were i think two cars of people that came so like about 10 people um so yeah it wasn't that big to be honest but yeah anyways so in total we had 10 chickens um that we cooked in one big handy and um, we've got half a lamb, I think. So half a lamb, 10 chickens and like a massive packet of dal that we cooked. And yeah, it took us like almost four hours to cook all of that. And yeah, it was really hard work, guys. Um, my back was dead by the end of it. I had really bad lower back pain. But all in all, everyone enjoyed the food. Alhamdulillah, I did vlog the nikah day by the way i did as much um you know i tried to record as much as i could um but yeah hopefully that will go up soon as well oh my god i'm feeling so unwell but yeah let me just um speed all this up for you guys
chance to vlog. <laughs> It takes time to finish it. Yeah, that's the worst bit. About hour, one hour? Yeah, sometimes. Um, I stay up till like 2 o'clock at night. Editing and... Um, Why didn't you let that to my editing? He's rubbish. I edit his stuff. Oh, oh. Uh, this one's just money. Mm. Yes.
Hey guys so they've left me in the kitchen all alone and the time is 11 22 and I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit scared um, yeah I'm making I'm cutting onions for the salad we're doing this salad my father-in-law cut most of it um, there's two curries there one's chicken as you guys saw and one is a meat curry um so yeah we're just they're almost done actually yeah they're almost done Bobby's going to get garlic because we're also cooking a dal dal lentil curry so um they've left me in charge so i'm the head chef today i'm not gonna lie my back my lower back is killing me so i've been standing for so long like haven't had a chance to sit down guys and um, my lower back is hurting so much like i honestly need to sit down i'm gonna go home and have a really nice hot bath i don't know maybe bath or a shower bath i might not because it's gonna take too long and i just want to get into bed Um, comes out nice I did taste it a little bit and it did taste nice I'm going to go out there. 